Alrighty, hello boys and girls, uh, new uh, Gamer Snack Challenge, although it's not really a Gamer Snack. Um, I was at HEB today getting some uh, some Gamer Snacks for some future upcoming challenges. When I got the bright idea, you know, it's not really a snack, but you game and you drink, and I thought, well, what if we put Coca-Cola up against HEB Cola? And then I thought, well, let's maybe take it one step further other than just a simple taste test. Uh, we'll make like a little ice cream float and, uh, you know, see how things go there. And uh, so I was looking at the ice cream. I was like, oh, yeah, there's H-E-B vanilla and Bluebell vanilla. So that gave me the idea of the Texas shootout. Um... Let's see here. What to do first? Let's do the the soda or pop challenge first. Um, I I in fact, actually, to be honest, I don't feel like either one of these challenges are very fair to H E B. If H E B can even come close, I would consider that a win. Um, if I was H E B. But anyways, let's uh, let's just jump into this. Okay, Coke first. I mean, Coke is Coke. I'm sure you've all had it. It's the, I would say, the dominant drink uh, of the world. In fact, I mean, even if you, whenever you go, you order like, I'll just have a Coke, and they're like, we don't have Coke, Pepsi, whatever. You know, everything is a Coke. It's uh, the generic term for for pop. Anyways, here we go down the hatch. Yeah, that's Coca-Cola. It's got that nice crisp bite. Um, it's a little bit of a, I don't know, I want to say like a spice to it. Uh, it's probably just lemon, I'm going to guess. And now for H-E-B. Oh my. Oh wow. I have to take another sip. This is a, a little shocking, people. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, let me go back to the Coke. Wow. Okay. Right off the bat, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Coke wins. But the H-E-B Cola, like you would never mistake it for Coca-Cola. But it's really good. It, it's it got a nice bite. It doesn't have that kind of a... Again, I call it a spice. Uh, there is like a like a, a burn to the Coca Cola that and it's not like a hot burn, but I think you know what I'm talking about. You, you've probably had Coca Cola before, but wow, this H E B Cola is really good. It's actually it maybe like a little smoother might be what the word I'm looking for because I thought it was going to be maybe sweeter or syrupier, but no, it's 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 fairly crisp. And like I said, you would never mistake it for Coca-Cola, but wow, this is a really good substitute. And now these are 16 ounce bottles. This was like $1.78. This was like 98 cents. So, you know, for almost a dollar, this is not a bad option. Anyways, on to the ice cream. I'm going to go Bluebell first. Again, this is another one where it seems a little unfair. And it's, they're just straight up vanilla. I think traditional vanilla. Homemade vanilla. And it's really good. Uh, as they say, Bluebell, they eat what they can and they sell the rest.
Wow, that's really good. Okay, I'm gonna go with the palette cleanser and we're gonna go with the H-E-B. Wow, that was really surprising. Okay, now we're gonna go with the H-E-B, Creamy Creation. Uh, what is it, 1905 vanilla? I don't know what that means. Oh wait, I forgot. I brought a separate spoon. I didn't want there to be any cross-contamination. Mmm. Whoa, it's already getting melty. It's hot here in Texas today. I just got back from the store. Oh my. All right. Back to the H-E-B. It's, you know, it's really difficult to express the differences here. And pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. Oh my God, my cat is rubbing up against the tripod. Pumpkin, pumpkin, no, pumpkin. Oh my God. Okay, well, I'm just gonna stick with that. I, I saw that uh, things shrunk down a little bit. Okay. Wow, this is this is hard. I I don't know. Wow. Okay, you know what? It, it's a tie. They're both rich, luxurious, creamy, vanilla-y. I might have to do another blind taste challenge because there isn't a lot of difference in the flavor. Yeah, I can't pick a winner. They're both really, really good. Wow. Now, I just realized something. I need to get two more glasses. Alrighty, that was kind of embarrassing. I started out with four glasses, and then I thought, why do I need four glasses? That's right, because I wanted to compare not just the ice cream, but the Cokes in the ice cream. So let's see. Let's go with a little HEB. Pumpkin, get pumpkin, get away. All right, so I guess, you know, I don't have to fill these up. Oh man, this is really soft. Put in a little HB. Pumpkin, get down.
for some bluebell. Pumpkin, get down. Come on, get off this one. HEB. All right, now I have color coded my glasses. So this is the HEB. On the 1911. I mean 1905, you know? Nice. Now the Coke and the 1905. Mm. Oh my goodness. And now uh, the bluebell and the coke, since my spoon was still in the thing. Eh? Coke makes the better float, no doubt about it. That extra je ne sais quoi of Coca-Cola really puts, I guess, cuts through the sweetness. The HEB Cola is not bad, but it's it, and it's very smooth. Both of the ice creams held up very well. They both uh, develop what I really like in ice cream float, those shaley, layered, icy levels to the ice cream. Um, so I would say, again, a tie for the ice cream. Um, it should be cola. Tive as far as taste if you're just drinking it. Coca-Cola. Well, no, I lied, didn't I? Coca-Cola wins, but barely. Well, okay, no, we can call it a tie. Because, like I said, for the Coca-Cola has its own unique taste. You're not going to top that. 
or beat them. But since the HEB performs so well, and it has the better price point, I'm going to call it a tie. Ice cream is a dead tie. There's no... I can't pick a winner. They're, they're, they're both good. Uh, they're both delicious. They're both creamy. They both perform well uh, as a float. But Coca-Cola, if you're going to make an ice cream float, that is the way to go. No doubt about it. Hands down, not even close. But anyways, <laughs> I think that does it for this Texas shootout. Um, and look forward to some more uh, snack challenges. I've got one, two lined up ready to go. I'm not sure where I'm going to put them out sometime. Probably at least one by the weekend. Um, maybe both of them by Sunday. We'll see how things go. I start working in on Monday. Um, but until then, Papatine out.